Hey, my name is Christian Lee. I'm here for Earworm Digital, and we're here with, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Layla Blue. I am an artist from New York City, and we are in San Diego today. Mm -hmm. We're in a snazzy place, too. Very yeah, Layla, how has the tour been? It's been awesome. It's my first tour, so that's super exciting. Ty is, I'm on tour with Ty Verdes. He's mm -hmm. wonderful. I know, we, saw, we heard him outside. I, it's crazy. I could not have asked for a better um, first tour artist to support. He's just so kind and his team is great. And yeah, it's been really fun. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. And you know, it's not every day we get to do an artist with someone who's gone platinum, you know? <laughs> what was that like for you when you heard, like, just platinum in, like, Brazil for what a shame, right? Yeah, honestly, really weird. Like, <laughs> like that song, everything that happened with that song and I guess kind of, like, all the su success that has come with any of my music was mm -hmm. super unexpected because what a shame came out, like, a year and a little bit, a year and like two months before it went viral. And it was completely an accident. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, extremely dope. But mm -hmm. I like every single day still wake, expect to wake up and have it be a dream. <laughs> mm. I know there is there is that meme that like artists always have. It's like, you know, fans always like, yeah, we'll come to, come to Brazil, you know? And you know, 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 maybe with a platinum, maybe are you gonna finally do it? You live I'm, out the I'm meme? Actually talking about it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Maybe in December or something, because I have a new song coming out, and I want to, like, go and meet the girls over there. That's I, cool. I want to go so bad. I love Brazil. Oh, yeah. You've been before? No, I've never been. Uh -huh. But, you know, I grew up with a lot of Brazilian women. Oh, really? And Brazilian women are, first of all, so sexy, so hot, mm -hmm. but also so wonderful and kind and, and um, generous in spirit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and let's talk about something else too. Like, this one also is, is it's kind of trendy right now as well, and it's NFTs. Mm -hmm. And I saw you tweet, you're like, oh, like, you asked some of your fans, like, hey, how do you feel like if I did an NFT? Mm -hmm. or is that something you're actually thinking about doing? Do you even know how to make one? Because I, no, I have no shot. Um, no clue. I am I'm in talks about it. And can you spoil it, or it still has to be on the down low? I cannot spoil it, but I, I, will let you know that I'm really interested in in that space. That's and cool. I think that there, especially because I'm an independent artist, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of, there's a lot of freedom in um, self-monetizing. Yeah. And in artists finally being able to have ownership of their, of their music and of their, their product. It's really dope. That is dope. You know, if you ever release it, you know, just email me first. I'll be the first one to buy it. No, no, I will. <laughs> okay. And I think for your song is Go Fuck Yourself, right? Fuck Yourself, yeah. Fuck Yourself. And <laughs> I heard that you actually filmed that in collaboration with your mom. I did, yeah. And so how did that come together? Um, well, honestly, mostly because of COVID. Because I was stuck in... Um, my parents house during quarantine and um my parents are actually both photographers so mm -hmm. we after we kind of realized that the lockdown wasn't really going anywhere i had this ep that was done and i had to make music videos and i was just like okay mom will you help me will you do this with me um and her and i actually shot six music videos six music videos on iphone and then i taught myself to edit videos so wow. i had it myself i also did with her and my dad too the the video for my song company and gasoline and like all of that also my my mom is my biggest inspiration and especially for that song like to be able to to make this video that was inspired for a song that was really inspired by my mom because she showed me what it means to be a strong woman to make it with her it only felt right that's cool. And let's talk about one of your other music videos too for, you know, What a Shame. You know, you do a little bit of choreo on that. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, did you like come up all by yourself? Because I know you did like dance and ballet back in the day, right? No, I, I was a gymnast, but I never, I mean, like I kind of danced, but I'm, I'm not a great dancer. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, no, I worked with a choreographer, this guy named Harrison. He's, he's really dope. Yeah. 
That's cool. Okay, and let's talk about one of your other songs too. I think it's my personal favorite. It's uh, Peppa Pig, you know. Oh my God. Such a hard song. <laughs> but Thank you. <laughs> I just want I just want to know though, uh, what inspired that song? What inspired that song? I've actually taken that song down since. Yeah. And, and not a lot of people know it, but the OGs know it. Mm -hmm. um, what inspired that song? Um, well, I used to wear a lot of pink and I was in with Y2K, um, who's a really dope producer, mm -hmm. and, and this guy, Jesse, that I wrote my song, What a Shame With, and a, a lot of other songs. Um, and we were just in a weird mood. It was like a nighttime session, and he just started making some weird, like, like, like some weird beat. And I just, someone was, I think as a joke, I was just like, bitch, I feel like Peppa Pig. And then we just wrote the song. Maybe I said it, maybe Ari, who's Y2K, said it. Yeah, but... Well, that's cool. <laughs> it just happened. Vibes. Spur of the moment, but you know, yeah. it turned out great. Thank you. Uh, you know, like, first time performing San Diego, so we decided to give you some gifts. Oh, thank you. I hate to spoil it, but it's actually my second time performing. Too. Really? Yeah. Okay, second time, but first time but I've seen you. Yes. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to wear these. It's actually related to the song. It's an uh, a Lego vinyl. I love. How did you know? Wait, uh, wait. You said related to the song. Yeah, you quoted Aaliyah in Peppa Pig. Yes, I did. I did. I literally the first. Um, thank you so much. This You're is welcome. such a dope gift. My the first um, cover I ever uploaded to YouTube was Aaliyah's "Are You That Somebody" when I was like 15. And she's, I've been such a stan of her forever. It's so good. And Missy Elliott. I, I mean, I should talk about that. Shout out to Leah and Missy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're That's welcome. so sweet. Great album. All right. And what type of music did you listen to uh, growing up outside of Aaliyah? Um, basically, so there was like kind of like a fight going on between my dad and I. So my dad loved like like Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen and all these amazing kind of poets. And then my, like, I loved pop music. So mm -hmm. like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and Beyonce and all this kind of like 90s, 2000s pop R&B, like this very female empowering yeah. type energy. And my dad and I always had this fight of like, pop music is stupid. And then that's what he would say. And then I'd be like, no, I'd be like, no, your music's boring. Cause obviously I was like 10 and didn't understand the amazing poetry. But when I started making music, I it kind of became my mission to merge the two, like really like personal poetic lyricism and the sounds of the pop music that I grew up listening to. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And also going back though, to a little bit related to Peppa Pig, were you more of like a Nickelodeon or a Disney Channel person? Okay, so I was, my dad didn't allow me to watch Disney Channel. Oh, really? But a thousand percent Disney Channel. I mean, I was a big iCarly stan big Victoria stan, mm -hmm. like loved all the Nickelodeon shows, but just when somebody takes something away from you, you just, you don't just want it, you need it. Yeah. And I needed Disney Channel, So what, everything. So like, what did you watch from Disney Channel? Do you remember anything, yes. anything that like shaped you from that? I literally, we were driving here and I started playing Gotta Go My Own Way from High School Musical 2. <laughs> and, um, and uh, Here We Go Again by Demi Lovato, mm -hmm. literally best song ever. Um, I love Camp Rock, love Camp Rock, love High School Musical, Hannah Montana, Sunny with a Chance, Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, like, I, I, Jonas, like, yeah. I literally love all <laughs> Dang, of them. I forgot about Jonas, so. Uh. But, um, uh, what's the show with Dove Cameron? Liv and Maddie, mm -hmm. I used to, like, that was a later one. Oh yeah, I <laughs> This wow. is so embarrassing. So like, when I know, so I have like really bad anxiety. Okay. It's actually like a lot better now, but it but it was really bad. And I would wake up in the middle of the night and like feel sick and, and not be able to go to sleep because I was so anxious. And so I just watched like Liv and Maddie. <laughs> and just, because it's the only thing that, that just like calms me. Whatever helps, yeah. Or Jesse too. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> I love the new channel. Cool. Um, well, I'm glad that you said that because we have one last gift for you. Beautiful. And it is, can I find? Oh, I can. Why did you, how do you just know? How do they know? Like what? I mean, I mean. Iconic. A, I know, I mean, who iconic. doesn't love this though? Like it's oh so good, right? 
okay, there are just some iconic songs in here. Start of something new when they start singing on the karaoke machine. <laughs> Get your head in the game. Shout out most underrated Disney Channel star, Drew Seeley. You know who you know who he is? No. He's the guy who sings um, in the first High School Musical album. Sings all of Zac Efron's parts. Oh, okay. Also, I do know that now. And yeah, he's yeah. also in. Um, uh, another Cinderella story with uh -huh. Selena Gomez. Oh, really? And he sings a song called Just That Girl. It's so good. I forgot people did talk about that when it's like so he had good. a dub over uh, Zac Efron and Breaking Free. Yes. That's true. Okay. I just thought it was a cool connection too because now Corbin Blue, Layla Blue. Yes, exactly. But you know, I used to think because Layla Blue is actually my, my real yeah, name. That's your myth, yeah, that's true. And so um, I used to think because I would see Corbin Blue all the time written and I'm like, he spells it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then I'm like, no, it's not wrong. It's just different. But we love Corbin Blue. Push to the limit. Also, shout out Jump In. Shout out Kiki Palmer. Dang, that was yeah. a good one too. Wow, you guys really came through with the gifts. I'm so impressed. Thank you. I don't Thank think I've, ever, I've maybe ever gotten a gift this poignant, especially from somebody that I that I just met. So it's oh, dope. What can you say? Thank you. You're an OG. Thank you. I respect that. Thank you. I actually appreciate that. That means a lot. All right. All right. I guess last but not least, you know, now you're independent. What's in the pipeline? What's the rest for this year? Anything going to happen yeah. next year? What um, spill the tea? What is in the pipeline? Actually releasing music. Hey. Uh, my next song is my song, Hot One, that I'm going to announce a date for this week. And I'm so excited to put that song out. Mm -hmm. um, and I just have so much music that I'm so ready to release and just to be able to have the freedom to to just it's just me and the fans so that's, that, that's how it should be that's how it should be mm -hmm. yeah well thank you for Tim, taking time to interview i really appreciate it yeah thank you so much for having and me and we have one last gift for you oh, oh my and God. it's not a physical one it's just time i'm gonna step out of frame this is you in the camera say anything you want plug anything you want your social media anything it's the time is all yours um wow that's a really dope unexpected gift um, I think this is a lot of pressure, so I'm kind of getting nervous, but if I were to use this time for anything, um, it would just be to say, you, whoever is watching, music changed my life when I was 13 years old. I decided that I was going to be a singer in a weekend, and for some, I don't know why, but I ended up just diving into it and here we are almost eight years later and I'm on tour and and literally you can make whatever you want happen for yourself. Literally, life is yours to live. So do what you want with that. But mwah, I love you. Thank you for watching this.